In this video, I'd like to talk about my top three free ways to permanently add hard code or burn subtitles into a video or movie. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So I'll walk you through the three tools that I normally use uh, depending on the scenario. i tell you what I like about each and every tool and what I don't like. So let's begin and uh, for uh, this video, I have a bunch of subtitles here and uh, I do have a video file corresponding to the subtitles. Uh, so let's begin. Tool number one, Handbrake. So Handbrake, and I'll leave all the links in the description below. This is Handbrake from handbrake.fr. Pretty good uh, application to permanently add subtitles to your video. So you can just drag and drop your video here. It's going to scan and all that. I love it because it's quick and easy. And if all I wanted to do was burn subtitles, I just click on subtitles. The one thing that I don't like is that uh, they changed the option to import the subtitle. You cannot see the tab here nowadays. You need to click on tracks, import subtitle, and then you select the subtitle that you want to permanently burn to the video. Uh, the other thing I don't like about Handbrake is that you cannot preview what the subtitle will look like before you burn it. And also, you cannot select a font if you wanted to choose a font. So let's say we just choose any of this. Just click on that. Open. And then ensure that since we want to burn it to the uh, video, click on this burn. Uh, something else that you might need to do is you might need to do uh, the constant bitrate. If you do the average, uh, ensure you have the, uh, the two-pass encoding. So, uh, let's say that's all we wanted to do. We have our video here and then we have our subtitles here. And I believe also something else I don't uh, really like about this is that you don't see the source file name. Uh, so for example, it's uh, it says here language English, but I'm not so sure the subtitle I selected is in English. So that's a problem. But I love the fact that you have character encoding here. You can choose whatever you want, uh, but it would be easier if we had uh, just a better interface here. So once you're done, just click on start encoding because Handbrake is one of the best transcoding applications out there. Once you click on that, since it's a one pass, depending on the strength of your laptop or your system, this is going to be an easy and peasy thing. Uh, I also love the fact that Handbrake is available for uh, multiple platforms, Windows, Linux, Mac. So everybody's catered for. Uh, so uh, those are just some of the few things pretty fast uh, to ban this. Uh, the only problem or the issue that we have is that there's no flexibility. So it's already done. Uh, the one thing that you can see is that from the activity log, you can always uh, go down and see what font was used. You can actually uh, check out and see. I believe you can see the font that was used somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here. Let's see. Uh, hmm. It should be somewhere here, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that you can see uh, what type of okay language English. It is C. Ban is true. Range. Mm hmm. Not really sure, but uh, but I believe it should be somewhere here. Uh, you can see. Uh, what uh, font uh, was actually used. But the downside is that you cannot select your own font. You cannot preview before you start burning. Uh, you, can also, you can also not see the name of the subtitle that you just input here uh, because you may forget what language it is in and that might be important if you want to, to set the character encoding. That's tool number one because it's super fast and it's a quick and scrappy way to actually do this. Uh, so that's Handbrake. Let's go to tool number two. Tool number two, I'll go for DaVinci Resolve. And the reason why I'm going for DaVinci Resolve as well is that it's because it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, and uh, basically, you can work with it. You'll see, be able to see the type of fonts. So we can just uh, create a new project, sample for YouTube. Just click on Create. And then uh, what we might need to do here is we might need to drag in our files. Let's just drag in uh, this one. Uh, it's uh, the video and Arabic subtitle. 
uh, don't change so what we can do is we can just uh, create a new timeline using selector clips just create and then we go to the edit page so uh, if you cannot see this section if this is what is selected you need to show the media pool uh, and this is our video or basically our timeline so this is our subtitle all you need to do is just drag and drop it inside here and since this is already timed uh, basically you just need to work with what we have uh, let's just drag and drop it back again so we have it inside here if I click on it uh, probably you may think nothing has happened now in DaVinci Resolve uh, since Arabic subtitles are read and written or are written and read from right to left then you need to actually use the stroke so you go to the style on this side click on style and then uh, just nudge the stroke to the beginning or basically just bring it to zero uh, once uh, you bring it to zero you'll be able to see the subtitles if it's anything above there you will not see the subtitles although they are there so let's bring it to zero and if I look at this one I know the full stops are, are somewhere here so the other good thing with DaVinci Resolve is that you can set a background let's say we add a background there and then if we scroll down uh, we can override sizing but since uh, the recent update this subtitle actually auto resizes based on uh, your subtitles or the way they are so it's good as it is you can also uh, go for something let's say we want to change the style for this you can actually undo that uh, for this one and then let's say you change the position to somewhere like there and then the y-axis to somewhere like there so you've only affected this one subtitle uh, block uh, but when you come back to the others uh, it's pretty awesome so if you're looking for something that will offer you more uh, flexibility uh, DaVinci Resolve is uh, one of uh, the other free ways you can actually ban subtitles to your video uh, and it allows you uh, the placement uh, the backgrounds uh, especially for the styles and you can do whatever you want uh, based on this so the downside might be that it might be a little bit heavy for your system but I think that if uh, you're looking for some of the few customizations that we've worked with and you're working on a workflow that involves DaVinci Resolve then this is something that you can consider uh, and once you're satisfied with uh, your your selections or your edits and all that if you want to burn the subtitles to the video just click on deliver and once you click on that always remember to title to title your video let's call it binding subtitles in DaVinci resolve and then the one thing that is important and you may forget is to ensure that the subtitle settings click on this settings down here and then there's an option to check export subtitle it's not as a separate file but remember to do uh, the burn into video you can also embed the captions as a sidecar uh, where if you're playing the video on let's say an application like VLC you can turn the subtitles on and off but we want the burn into video and that is what we want you can always render to queue uh, and then uh, work with that uh, once everything is done so just add to render queue just click on save so here we go if you're satisfied with all this uh, if you just uh, done with that just click on render all if uh, that is all you wanted to do so this is the time remaining and you can see in real time uh, the render process happening uh, inside DaVinci Resolve but basically from the two options we've already looked at Handbrake is quick and easy with DaVinci Resolve you may need to do some few adjustments and the reason why you may need to use DaVinci Resolve is if you're working on a workflow that uh, you are editing videos in uh, DaVinci Resolve but you want to add subtitles to the video so uh, we'll not wait for this to complete but once it's done uh, it's going to give us a video with band in subtitles let's move on to the, the, uh, the third and final way that I personally use and recommend most of the time uh, let's just stop this so uh, that's DaVinci we can close that out 
And uh, the final way that I always recommend is called subtitle edit. Now, this particular option to use or to burn in subtitles to a video in subtitle edit was updated in, uh, I believe, subtitle edit 3.6.3 if I'm not mistaken. And the reason for this is this application is free. It's available for Windows and Linux. Unfortunately for Mac, I, I don't believe it's available. But one of the things that was lacking from subtitle edit is the option to burn in subtitles. But luckily, the creator of this particular application actually added the option to burn in subtitles. Now, let's just uh, drag and drop our video inside here. So let's just drag and drop our video. Uh, basically, if we do that, it's going to give us that option. Let's open the video from URL. Let's go here, just open video. So we have our video here and then we can just go to file, open, keep video. Uh, let's assume we just want to go with any of this. Just click on that. Let's click on open. So or basically let's choose another file. Open, keep video. Let's say we go with what? This I believe is Russian. Yes, that's Russian. So something of that sort. Now, this is pretty awesome because uh, one of the things that was lacking is the option to burn in subtitles into the video. A couple of things I like about this. The fact that you can change the font, you can change the format of the subtitles, and you can also even preview. So if we go to video, generate video with burned in subtitles, just click on that. If you're using, uh, let's say, a subrip, the format here is uh, a subrip or SRT subtitle, then you have the option to change the font size, something that is not available in Handbrake. Now, you can change the font family. If you're dealing with right to left uh, uh, subtitles and all that, you can uh, fix that, align, uh, align right. If you want the subtitles, go to the right. Uh, the opaque box, if you want a box behind your subtitles, and we can just actually preview here to see how this looks like. This is what it's going to look like. Pretty good. Uh, nothing to complain about. And then you'll see the video resolution is picked up from your video. Uh, and for me, or for the purposes of this video, I actually just leave anything down here as it is. I don't touch anything. I just let it be. Now, you can change the font, which is pretty awesome. The other downside, or basically the downside I have with this other than the fact that it's not available for Mac, is that the preview uh, for this option is the audio. I wish they push them a little bit down and then have just a preview. And if you want to preview the whole thing, then you can expand the preview window. That is, this uh, window that is actually generated here can be just a small window. Uh, let's say a small window that resizes as I do this. Uh, that fits somewhere inside here, but if you want to maximize, you can always see it in the maximum resolution of how the subtitles will look like. Maybe that's the downside that I find. But if all you wanted to do was just burn in the, your subtitles to a video uh, using a subtitle edit, then all you need to do once you're done with this is just click on generate. And then it's going to give you the option uh, to save your file where you want to save it. And the good thing is that without confusing what file you're working on, it gives you an extension of burning 1280 by 720 and uh, the uh, encoding of uh, x264. And then you can save as an MP4, Matroska or MKV or WebM. Let's just say it's as, a, uh, as, uh, an, M uh, as an MP4 and click on save. And once you do that, it begins uh, burning in your subtitles to your video. It's pretty fast and unlike, let's say, DaVinci Resolve uh, was having a lot of uh, back and forth in subtitle edit, it's pretty fast because there's nothing you've done. So, and also in DaVinci Resolve, other than just changing the few settings we changed, I'm not really sure that mandates for it to take that long. So once it's done, you can always navigate to the folder with the band in subtitles. If I just double click on it, with the reason you can see the subtitle as it looks like with a background and all that so uh as i've mentioned those are just my top three free ways to burn subtitles to a video permanently add subtitles to a video or hard code subtitles to a video 
using Handbrake, DaVinci Resolve, or Subtitle Edit. It really depends on what your workflow looks like and probably the system or the platform that you're running on. So I hope this video is going to be of value to somebody that is looking to burn subtitles to their video, they're on a budget, and hopefully uh, they can compare and see what works for the different platforms or the efficiency they're looking for. My name is David. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.